Whoa! Oh my gosh, guys, look at the ceiling. Holy crap! Let's play a game. <laughs> All right, guys, today I am bouncing around Las Vegas, Nevada, filming Spirit Halloween stores. And this one looks awesome. This one is actually located on Nellis Boulevard in Las Vegas. And luckily, I did not have to brave the strip to get here. Look at the size of this enormous Spirit Halloween sign. I'm not sure what this used to be but it doesn't really matter because all we care about is the spooky. And speaking of the spooky, as I was walking in, I saw this spooky guy named LJ. Hi. Okay, let's head in the store, guys. It is pretty dang amazing that I can come to Las Vegas, Nevada to a spirit Halloween and people know exactly who I am. Look at this huge store here. Okay, guys, I think what we're gonna do in this store, I've kind of been wanting to walk around and look at everything ghost face in one of these stores. So we're gonna say hi to all these guys. We're gonna see what kind of animatronics they have on the floor. If we see anything we haven't seen yet, we're gonna check that out too. So let's say hello to Papa Pins here. Just real quick, hello Papa Pins. Okay, good enough. Okay, let's say hello to Leatherface. Come on, Leatherface. Let's step back and take a look at both of them going insane. All right, let's move on forward and do the Martian Warrior. I have yet to buy him, but I want to. Hello, sir. I love when we get all the sounds in the place going, guys. All right, let's go in here past the spooky candles and see Dagger Mike. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. There you are. Do it. There you go, Mike. All right, let's come on over here and check out the sitting scarecrow. Is he the scary guy or not? He is the scary guy. There's some stickers for you, sir. All right, let's say hello to the widow real quick. Hello, widow. Okay, we got you. Do it. Crack your neck. There you go. All right. Hello, Mr. Slim here. I almost called you Sam. Mr. Slim here. Okay, there he goes. Okay, looks good. Let's keep moving on here, guys. Over to the other side here so we can see poor George real quick. Come on, poor George. There you go. All right, let's look at this stuff, guys, because look at all these animatronics that they have on the floor right here. Look at this. Over here, we start off with a young Crouchy, a.k.a. young hairdo. And look at all these donation stars on this pillar here. How cool is that? Make sure if you guys come in that you make a donation and you put your name on a star. And right underneath those stars, we have Papa Pins. We have one, two, three sitting scarecrows here. Uh-oh. We have one, two, three, four, five scary sitting scarecrows. A little Jack Carver. Oh, Jack, Jack, Jack. I need to buy you. I will keep that in mind, but let's keep on moving. We have three straw mans right here. We have the Mars Attacks Martian Warrior. We have two of Bubba, man's best friend. Two howling spirits here. And let's keep moving through the store here, guys, because I see some more stuff back here. We have a whole stack of jumping spiders. And look who we have right here. Mr. Heck Spawn. Excuse me, sir, I don't love you. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa! Oh my gosh, guys, look at the ceiling. Holy crap. Get out of my graveyard. This is amazing. Look at the ceiling where his horns have stabbed the ceiling hundreds of times. I'll tell you what, animatronics are not really built that great, but for those horns to be strong enough to do that, what in the heck are those things made of? Okay, Hexpawn, we're moving on. Hello to the Howling Spirit. Hello to the Gargoyle. Are you working, Gargoyle? Hmm. Look, I started to walk away and he turned on. There he is with his red eyes and all. Hello to the always spinning eternal rest. Oh, look at this. Darling Dolly is turned around the other way. I don't care. I love how the head just spins and spins and spins. Let's watch it one more time. Look at that. 
I honestly think that's a better way for this prop to move than what it was intended. And look at this, guys. We actually have a hex spawn right here for sale. We have a The Widow. We have a Black Heart over here. And we have two Eternal Rests with the Eternally Spinning Head. All right, let's say hello to Gordo real quick here. Come on, Gordo. Come on. There you go. All right, let's move on and say hello to Darling Dolly. Come on, Dolly. All right, here she comes. Watch the hair. <laughs> I love how that hair just like shoots forward. Okay, hello to the black heart. Hello to Skelly Bones. Let's see if we can get him going. All right, he's going. Meanwhile, we're going to step on Desmodus here. Here we go. Double time. There we go. Both of them at the same time, guys. And we also have the Grave Watcher going. Very cool. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh, guys. His wing actually got caught on this and almost ripped it down. Okay, and let's finish it off with the jumping spider. Oh, he's already jumped. He, like, jumped just as the doors were opening. Listen to the spider sounds. I do not want to wake up in the middle of the night and hear that. All right, let's walk back through here a minute, guys. Just take a quick walk through the store and see if there is anything that we have not seen yet. Just something that catches my eye that we have not seen quite yet. They do have a plethora of zombie babies here. I can't help it. Every time I see this guy, I have to say hello, and then he says, mm -hmm. I see we do have a ghost face sidestepper here. I see some Sam dolls, some Annabelles. I do not see Chucky dolls, which also means that I do not see Glenn dolls. But they do have the Chucky Jack in a Box statue, the Pennywise statue, the Leatherface, and look at this. I haven't seen this for a year or two. It's the Pennywise light up balloon. Which one of these do you push? Oh, <laughs> the battery must be dead. But the balloon actually lights up. That would make a really cool, like, end table light. Hmm. And you know what, guys? With that, let's get on to the everything ghost face. Let's start with this over here. This is really, really cool. And this is something that's new for this year. Ghost face wreath. Look at this. We got the ghost face mask and the knife on an awesome black and red wreath. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. We have the ghost face flag, which is way cool. We have the ghost face door cover. Is it a door cover? Hmm, no, it's just a wall hanger. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I've seen that before. Hmm, I know they also have a door cover with ghost face, but I do not see it here. Okay, there's obviously no ghost face zombie babies, except for if they had the new ghost face tiny terrors, it would be on the end here. They do have the ghost face side stepper, which as you guys know, I bought. Let's get him going. All right, let's see. I don't see any ghost face signs over here or pictures on the end. Now, of course, they have the whole ghost face section of costumes. We're gonna look at that last because I wanna see just all the little things that we might be missing as we walk through the store here. Things like this. Look at this. There's a whole section of dog costumes. And down here, they have a ghost face dog costume. How funny is that? Look how tiny the mask is. That is so hilarious. We have this whole section over here with fleece throws and as you guys know, I have bought myself a couple of these ghost face blankets like this one right here and I don't see the other one I have but I do see this one that I'm not sure I've ever even seen in here before. How cool is that? See, that's exactly what I'm talking about, guys, with just kind of taking your time and looking through the store, through every crack and crevice to see if there's things you haven't seen before. That is awesome. Now, unfortunately, I do not see it here, but they do have a new ghost face plush that would be hanging like right here if they did have it. Do we have a ghost face doormat? I don't know if I've seen one of those. Let's look over here. Hold on. Uh, there's Michael Myers, Chucky. Uh, I don't see one here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't one. We'll keep an eye out as we go through other stores, but they do have the Ghost Face lunchbox here that I showed you guys in the last video. 
That is pretty awesome. Do we have ghost face pajamas? Oh, yes. Look at this. I've never seen this before. Chillin' and killin'. It's ghost face pajamas. What the heck, guys? Those are so cool. The pants have ghost face all over them. And then they have a shirt that, if I can zoom in a little bit, has ghost face right on there. How cool is that? And they even have smaller ones here. And here's a different version of it with ghost face on the front and on the pants. All right, we're gonna check the costumes and the masks in just a minute, but let's go up front here and see if they have any little ghost face stuff that we haven't seen up here. All right, I don't see any ghost face bags or trick or treat buckets. Do they have any ghost face earrings? I don't think so. Oh, but they do have ghost face socks right here. You can't see it very well without me unraveling it, but it's ghost face saying, call me. And then this one has ghost face's face and it says horror movies and chill. I don't recall that there are any ghost face bag clips, but that would be an awesome addition. We do have this ghost face handmade by robots. That's pretty cool. He's got the chrome mask on. All right, I know I've seen the ghost face tumblers before, but I'm not seeing any in here right now, as well as the shot glasses. I've definitely seen the ghost face shot glasses before, but I don't see any, any on here either. That is a totally awesome zero shot glass though. Look at that. That is hilarious with his little pumpkin nose. Have you seen ghost face? Hmm, I know I've also seen ghost face mugs in here before, but Unless I'm totally overlooking them, I am not seeing them at the moment. Okay, let's take one more walk through the store here because I know that I saw ghost face tumblers and, uh, and big like coffee mugs, hot chocolate mugs somewhere. I love how when I walk up here, these guys start going nuts and all the sounds start up. Yeah, there's lots of different mugs around the store, but I know the ghost face one has like the ghost face molded right on the front of it. Have you seen ghost face? Have you seen ghost face? Have you seen ghost face? Well, never mind. I'm pretty sure he's mad because he kinda looks like ghost face, but not really. Have you seen ghost face? Hello, rat. Have you seen ghost face? Have you seen ghost face? Have you seen ghost Ghost face? Have you seen Ghost Face? Have you seen? Okay, never mind. I'm not even gonna bother with you, Secret Keeper. Heart of Death, Ham Hocks, Hook Head Hog, Double Head Fred, Hook Eye Guy, Mister I Need a Tic Tac. But no Ghost Face. Sometimes he's even hanging out with these ghoulies. Oh wait, here we go, guys. Check it out. We have four of the gigantic. 12-foot inflatable ghost faces. I knew there was more stuff in here. Okay, let's take a quick walk through the uh, masks here and see because sometimes they put the ghost face masks in the masks in the back of the store. I see Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers and The Purge and Saw and House of a Thousand Corpses, even Grandma and the Bingo Guy, but I don't see any ghost face in this section. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head up to where the ghost face masks and costumes are, but I just wanted to take a quick peek through here to see if there was anything we were missing, and I do not see anything. And let's check the clearance section just for the heck of it. All right. No, I didn't expect to see any ghost face stuff in here, but just for the heck of it, I thought we would check. All right, let's go on to the costumes. Okay, we're going to start with the kids, and usually that would be right up here around the corner. Hmm. Strangely, it's a little different setup. Where the heck is ghost why are we having so much trouble finding ghost face today guys this would be the day i decide to look at everything ghost face and i'm having so much trouble finding everything ghost face here it is okay so here is the kids section of everything ghost face let's just start right at the top we have some costumes along the top we have the chrome edition right here the light up ghost face the devil face the glow in the dark ghost face Right below that, we have some ghost face knives. And these are pretty cool. Like, this is the actual replica right here. Oh, wait, there's even another one under there. That's got a very short blade. This is the actual replica of the Buck 120, which is what they use in the movie. And then they have the bloody blade ghost face knives, where if you tilt it like this, the blood, like, runs out. That's pretty cool. Over here, we have two more. One of them is the light-up knife. Let's see. Okay, yeah, if it were in the dark, you'd see that a lot better, but you push the button right there and it lights up green. 
And I don't quite understand this one, but it's a ghost face bleeding machete. So this does like the exact same thing as that knife up there. You tilt it and the blood runs, but I just don't recall Ghostface ever using a machete, so I don't really understand the idea behind that. We have the Ghostface jersey, which on the back I believe it says, yes, 96. The regular Ghostface costume here, and let's see, we saw the light up, we saw the bleeding. Here's the masks. Here's just the ghost face bleeding mask if you just want that. Here's the chrome face, the classic mask. And look down here. Here's some costumes I haven't seen yet. This one right here, it's like a ghost face cheerleader. Look at that. That's hilarious. Then we have the ghost face bling costume. Does it come with the knife? Um, I don't think it comes with a knife, but it comes with the mask. It includes hooded dress, rhinestone ghost face mask, and you have to get the knife separately. I have seen them before. I don't see them in this section, but they might have them in the adult section, so we'll check that in a second because we have one more costume here. The ghost face dress. Look at that. That is pretty cool. It's got like a blood splatter on it. Okay, let's make our way over here, guys, and we will go to the adult costume section and look at what they have in the ghost face section. All right, here we go right through here. Yes, here we go. Okay, so here is the adult costumes ghost face section. And as you can see, we do have the, uh, the jersey like they have over in the kids section with the 96 on the back. Although here we also have this beanie. We have the Slayer kit, which comes with the voice box and the knife and the mask. We have the ghost face baseball cap. And look at this. We also have this ghost face sweatshirt that has like a plaid shirt under it with the original Scream VHS box cover art on it. That is really cool. Of course, we have the regular ghost face mask. Is this the glow? Yes, we have the glow in a dark ghost face mask, which in my opinion, looks even better than the original. Now, up here that I can't reach is the bling ghost face costume for adults. The ghost face hockey dress. Hold on. Okay, I can get that one. Yeah, okay, this is kind of just like the one we looked at in the kids section where it has like the blood spatter on it. And they have several regular ghost face costumes up there. We have the chrome ghost face mask and oh, this is just more of the regular ones. The light up ghost face costume, the hooded robe, the devil face from Dead by Daylight. They have this ghost face button up shirt right here. And this is really awesome. It's the ghost face 96 jacket. It's kind of just like a sweatshirt, but that is really cool. And as far as the knives, I do not see the bling knife we were talking about, but they do have the light up knife. They do have the buck 120 and they do have this ghost face knife that has ghost faces face on it. Okay guys, we are almost done. We have one more thing to look at here, the shirts. And as far as I know, yes, we have one, two, three ghost face shirts. We have this one up here that says, is this a scary movie? And he's holding a VHS tape. Then beside it, we have the stab at your it. And I think that's black light reactive. And then finally, we have this awesome one up here, the Ghostface Movie Club. And he has the VCR in the background there. He's holding a remote. That is an awesome shirt right there. Yeah.